hazard zone really needs to change this to stay alive. RD Techie here, and today we're gonna to be talking about Hazard Zone in Battlefield 2042. Hazard Zone is a new game mode that came out with Battlefield 2042. And while it has its issues, it's a really fun game mode. It has a lot of replayability and a lot of cool items they kinda borrowed from games like The Hunt Showdown or Escape from Tarkov. So it has elements that are different from a battle royale or something, but it's still a fully multiplayer game that has AI enemies. It's it's a nice mix of things, and that's what gives Hazard Zone that like special flavor. It's not a battle royale, um, but it's also not completely like Tarkov, where you go in, you get loot from other players, and get out. But it's also not entirely like Hunt, where you have to be extremely careful in your movements and pay attention to the sound at a higher level. It takes a lot of elements from a lot of a lot of these games, and it adds to adds a little bit more of a casual feel to it. So you can jump in, have a couple of games, and jump out. It's not too much of a pressured situation. So the element of Hunt that I feel like they took the most out of is the character streaks. Uh, the character streaks are basically, if you keep extracting with the same character, you'll have these streaks build up. And each uh, additional character streak uh, gives you an additional perk you can pick while you're going in to the next mission on that character. But if you die, that character re uh, streak is reset. Kind of similar to how you lose your character, but also not the full hardcore way that Hunt does it. Now you can be, you know, you can like Hunt, you can hate Hunt. That aspect of it is pretty cool that you, it's permadeath. Here it's not really permadeath, but you are losing a bunch of perks um, that you, or the ability to equip three perks if you lose a character, if you have a nice streak going. Aside from that, you also have the same kind of AI plus PvP element that uh, both Tarkov and I believe Hunt has. I haven't played Hunt, by the way. This is all from me watching Hunt. I have played Tarkov and I did like Tarkov quite a bit. So this is coming from someone who's experienced Tarkov mostly, but kind of seen what Hunt is about and have spent quite a bit of time in Hazard Zone. The gameplay in itself is fairly straightforward. You land in, you're looking for these things called drives, data drives, and they are usually dropped either at fixed locations at the start of the map, and then over time you will see them land as satellites crash into the map. Great. Secondly, what's amazing about it is if you kill someone, you can, if they have a drive on them, you can take it and you can extract. You have to extract to get the full bone XP and all that from the drives. Uh, even if one of your teammate extracts, at least this is how it is now, uh, you will get the streak gone going ahead. But to get XP for your own self, to for your own account and stuff, you do need to extract as well. And uh, the perks you could take in can enable you to get more credits, which are which is the form of money, and that's what you'll be using to buy better weapons and things like that to take in. Now, no matter what you do, what the result is, any loadout you take in is a disposable one. You only take in, uh, for example, I think the PP-29, which is one of the biggest guns, one of the most popular guns in the game, also kind of broken, but I like it anyway, uh, it's 200 credits. So if you buy it, you go in, you, you're successful to come back out. The next time you go in again, you still have to pay another 200 credits to go in. But credits isn't too hard to come by. A couple of extractions that are successful and the right uh, perks picked can get you around three to 4K uh, credits. I am kind of floating around four to 5K credits right now. So while credits will, you will, it will cost you credits to die and not have any sort of progress. Uh, having an, one good game uh, with the right perk selected can give you loads of credits. So that's all great. All this is awesome. This is the good thing about Hazard Zone. I love the mode because of these things. Not everyone might. It may not be for everyone. But the problem is matchmaking. 
And I don't know if it's just Asian servers or if it's uh, just a universal issue with the game. But it takes a long time to get a game. Uh, and I, to put this into perspective, a quick game of Hazard Zone, say you land in, you get one drive, you try and extract, that goes about 10 minutes long. I think that's the first extract is the 10 minute. Say you do get it and you come back out. You may spend even more time just matchmaking for your next one. So if you get wiped as soon as you land, you're done. You're out. And that'd be fine. You know, permadeath is good. In a game mode like this, it needs that. You can't have people just respawning. Plunder suffers from respawning because uh, especially uh, if they respawn in the same place, you're just constantly fighting this one dude who solo dives back in and just keeps coming back because he doesn't care about anything else. This is the other extreme where if you die, you're gone and you cannot respawn. And that's okay. Like I said, that is a, I think that's a cool thing about this game. But the problem is because your games can get a little short, the matchmaking needs to be faster. A fast matchmaking time for me right now on that game mode, if I get a game in two, three minutes and I'm speaking two, three minutes of waiting in the lobby, I'll be happy. That's the point I'm at, where I think that's a quick match. I'm not saying that's normal, that's a quick one. A normal wait time is closer to 10 minutes. And even longer, I've waited around 20, 25 minutes, even once around 30 minutes without getting a match. So matchmaking is one of the big issues. So how will they fix matchmaking times? That's a very valid question. And the answer is make Hazard Zone free to play. It has a unique idea about it that it doesn't get lost between all the other battle royales, but it also has an element of, I need to check that out. It's Battlefield's free to play mode. It's a game mode that is going to be pretty awesome to try and play. And what Warzone did to COD, Hazard Zone could do for Battlefield. For example, Warzone makes COD millions of millions of dollars it increases people's temptation to buy the game so they can level up their weapons unlock new weapons and so on and so forth battlefield hazard zone could do that for battlefield 2042 and it could even bring in more people into 2042 so you want that new gun that you only get level 31 you could be tempted to buy 2042 try and level up in multiplayer in portal anywhere else. So everything that COD and Warzone works, you know, intertwined and interlinked, you can expect the same thing with this sort of workaround. And I don't know, I mean, I'm sure there's some programming difficulties, there's some, but I don't think it'll be a fundamental change to the game because people who enjoy Battlefield will keep playing Battlefield. It, the multiplayer. You know, you have the hardcore fans and they'll keep playing the multiplayer. People who enjoy Portal and the stuff they can do in there will keep doing that. But right now, what's happening is people who like Hazard Zone have to put up with longer and longer wait times. And as weeks and weeks go by after launch, that wait time is only going to get longer. And what that means is people will lose interest, which means the wait times will get longer. And then which makes the people lose even more interest and so on and so forth. Free to play games, say what you want about them, love them, hate them, bring people to the game. A free to play mode from Battlefield like Hazard Zone would not only bring more people to Battlefield 2042, it would also include a, a bring more people to EA for cosmetics, for things they can put in the shop. And EA aren't alien to this. Apex, one of the biggest battle rounds done by EA. So they know what they can gain from it. And I think this mode is perfect because it is not a battle royale. You want to play a battle royale, you probably go COD, Apex, some other battle royale game. But if you have a hazard zone, because it borrows things from these other more hardcore games like The Hunt or um, Tarkov, but at the same time isn't so in-depth and hardcore that you have to really, you know, 
spend months really learning the game. It's not so overwhelming either. You can actually pick up and play. It provides people who are casual players, like myself. I'm a filthy casual when it comes to FPS. It gives us a chance to step into the game, get into a game without waiting 15 minutes for a game, and then play and enjoy. And I think it is a solid case. I think that difference, that AI being present, the fact that the AI aren't dumb, they're actually good at hitting their shots. I mean, yes, they move around back and forth, but still, they're good at hitting their shots, but they're not god mode. They're not super stupid. You have PvP in it. It just all adds into a more unique experience than just a battle royale game. And free to play means there's always players. It means they're tempted to buy 2042. It means they're more, um, they see cosmetics uh, from other players, are more tempted to buy cosmetics, which is what free to play games are, you know, run on. You don't even need any pay to win things. You just need a cosmetic store with all sorts of uh, different outfits and headgear and, you know, all sorts of camos and things like that that you can buy. And people will spend money on it. And Hazard Zone is unique in itself. Enough to separate it from Warzone and Apex and Tarkov and Hunt that it can actually carve out a very strong presence right in the middle for those of you, or those of us really, that don't want to pick up a hardcore multiplayer game like Tarkov or Hunt, because we're not sure about that. Those of us who don't like Battle Royale, this is like the perfect combination. And I really hope someone from DICE or EA hears this, because really, as someone who loves Hazard Zone, Please, we need more players. Please make it free to play and earn yourself millions and millions of dollars. But I think that is the biggest thing. And I think this is needed because without this, I feel like Hazard Zone is going to die in a matter of months. If that. Let me know what you guys thought. Have you played Hazard Zone? Have you had the same issues with waiting times? Or am I more of a minority in that so that's it for this video thank you so much for listening to me let me know what you guys thought in the comments and if you think this free-to-play move would be a good idea let me know i like being told i'm right it's shocking and if you think i'm wrong you should let me know that too because i could be taken down a peg or two yeah damn that techie yeah what an idiot right also sub to the channel by hitting that red thing down there because we're so close to 900 and it'd be super duper cool to get there all right i'll see you guys in the next one thank you so much i appreciate all your love and support goodbye <laughs>